Hello, we're finishing up this short series where we're taking some function. This time I'm taking the function f of x is equal to cotangent of x and I need to find out what the derivative of that function is which is going to be f prime of x. All right, let's get into it. So just like what we've done in the last videos, all we're gonna do is take this function f of x and we're gonna make it a little bit simpler in terms of taking the derivative. We know that the cotangent of x is actually the cosine of x over the sine of x. But this is where it starts to get a little tricky because unlike in the last videos, we don't really have a simple outer function and inner function because we have, if we break this down even further, what we have is cosine of x times one over sine of x. So we have these two separate functions. Uh, this one on the right is cosecant of x, but I'm just gonna write it as one over sine of x for now. And we have this one on the left, cosine of x. So it looks kind of like maybe we'd use the product rule because we have a product that we're taking the derivative of. So if you recall the product rule, and I'll write it out, it says that the derivative with respect to x of one function times another function, doesn't matter what we call those functions, is going to be equal to the derivative of the first function, I'm using the prime notation now just because it's kind of helpful, uh, times the second function plus the uh, first function times the derivative of the second function. So what we're gonna do here is First, we have, to, we have to kind of set this up. So, well, wh what do we need to know? We know the second function here. We know the first function. What we need to know is the derivative of the first function and the derivative of the second function. So I'm gonna call this, let's uh, color code these. I'm gonna say that this is my first function, this red and the green, no, let's do yellow. The yellow will be my second function. So where the second function is gonna be this here, and our first function is going to be this here. So let's get to work on actually finding out what those derivatives are. So, first of all, what is f of x? I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna write these out here. f of x is equal to cosine of x. What is g of x? Well, g of x, is equal to the one over sine of x. Now then, we have to find out what is f prime of x. f prime of x, that's a derivative of cosine of x, that's just negative sine of x. It's pretty simple all around, right? Negative sine of x, but now what's the derivative of g of x? And now, we, we actually did a video on this, right? g prime of x, we did a video on what the derivative of the cosecant of x is, which is exactly what this is, but I'm gonna go through here, I'm gonna go through it again right here. So, but I'm, I'm gonna do it a bit quicker than I did in that video. So, so we just have this outer function, one over x, we're taking the derivative of that. I'm gonna pull this over here, uh, no, I'll just write it right here. So we have negative one over sine squared of x, times cosine of x because cosine of x is the derivative of our inner function sine of x and negative one over x squared is the derivative of our outer function except we plugged in the inner function sine of x. And that's just going to simplify to, I think I'll just, that's just negative cotangent of x cosecant of x if I am not mistaken. Except I didn't write it in yellow because of all the things of all the things I could do wrong. Didn't get the color right. Cotangent of x, cosecant of x. There we go. And now we just have to plug these in. So I liked I liked this example because we have to use both the product rule and the chain rule, and it kind of harks back to some previous videos. Uh, so we get that the uh, derivative of our function f, f prime of x, is going to be equal to, I'll just look down here, it's gonna be this thing here. So that's just gonna be the derivative of our first function. Well, that's negative sine of x. Negative, 
you know, maybe we'll even do this, do this in color. Yeah, let's do that. We have negative sine of x times our second function. Our second function is just one over sine of x. And then we're adding, we're adding what is our normal first function? That's cosine of x. I should uh, I should do the plus sign in a neutral color. Then we're adding cosine of x times the derivative of our second function, which is going to be negative negative cotangent of x cosecant of x. Let's not run out of space now. So close. All right, let's simplify this out a little bit. I'm going to switch back to blue. We're going to have the shade keeps changing on this blue, but we'll survive. We're going to have negative sine of x over sine of x minus cosine of x times, I'm still going to use the parentheses here, times cosine of x over sine of x times 1 over sine of x. And you'll see why I did that in a minute. So we get negative 1 minus cosine squared of x over sine squared of x, which is very clearly negative 1 minus the cotangent squared of x or as I like to write it, negative one plus cotangent squared of x. So that's kind of interesting. When we take the function uh, f of x is equal to cotangent of x, f prime of x, the derivative of that function, also has that cotangent of x in there, except that it's squared and it's having one added to that and then all of that is negative. So this is probably the most interesting of our examples. Uh, but also one that you don't need to memorize if you know all of these different derivative rules. I hope that this was thankful. Uh, that this was thankful. No, that this was helpful uh, in your understanding, in or at least knowledge in the application uh, and use of derivatives. And thanks for watching.